as we are nearing the finale of our North Loop adventure. But before that, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude for the love and support you guys gave us on our time endeavor. I wish you all the luck and hope you could join us in our next adventure. We are open for crazy adventurers like us. You could join or invite us to visit your place. I want to thank my team, especially Mac and Gino, for their initiatives and invites, their whimsical and fervent heart for the adventure, for Tenten, Arden, Christian, and the rest of the crew for their humor, insights, company, and footages, for Bajaj and TVS for supporting us and providing us our vehicle to test, Ian Aguete, Emily Pascual, James Padran, who opened their homes for us. Thank you for the warmest hospitality. Without further ado, let's go. Hindi ko may paliwanag ang kapa sa mga oras na to. Yung tayo ka lang sa lugar, pakagat na ang dilim, tapos mauubusan ka na ng fuel. Bawat madaan mong gas station ay sarado na, tapos mga kalsada ay challenge na to. Tenten drove maximal like a maniac, hoping na may operational na gas station na madaan. Desperate measures, ika nga. Wala na nga pansin-pansin kung malubak ang daan. Basta, diretso lang. Kreos tries to find every contact he has sa vicinity, hoping someone could help us in this dire situation. Thank heaven someone heeded our plight and saved us. Enter Emily Pascual. She pointed us to Balisteros na may open na gas station sa area. Not only that, she treated us all to dinner and provided us shelter for the night. Real life good sa Marathon Ikaka. Nakakataba ng puso. Sadly, I didn't have much footage because we're all tired and weary. Drained sa biyahe and that worrying situation that kept us on the edge. Kumusta ang feeling lumundag? Oo, siya buntik eh. Ang gusto yung ulo ko rin ito eh. Ano pa? Mas kamusta? Lumusok siya yung ulo niya eh. Lahat kami. Airborne. Putas ba ang bubong? May tumagos ba ang ulo? Tumamal. Kaya kayo mag-cover na ito eh. Gusto na kayo namin yan. Gusto na kayo dito sa akin. Oo. May besta na sa kanila mo. Besta dito eh. Event chat ngayon. Pwede pang alam. Pwedeng. Pwede vlog eh. Kaya ito kita kanina sa... Kasi dapat nagluto kami ng dina eh. Mas kam kami dun sa gas. 400 yung binayaro namin. Pero yung tanki namin, half pa rin. Saka 8 liters yun, di ba? Oo, 8 liters yun. Tapos 400. Tapos pag ano. Kung tutusin, abot na yun. Abot na yun. Nakapag-desisyon na lang lahat. Buti binanggit yung magic. Alright. Sabi na si Emily. 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 Imagine na walang patay ng gas, tapos ngayon puno pa pati dyan natin. Yan yung sinasabi, pag naligaw ka, ito yung kataga namin eh. Maliligaw. Pero hindi pa magugutom. Tara na, papagas na kami. Ay, sa bakas napakargan din. Tapos mga katakot yun ah. Yan nabudol. Nabudol kami. Nadaan kami sa kamyas. Early morning eh. Kailangan namin gumising para bumiyay ulit for another 15 hours para makarating lang na Tagaytay. So, but may mga agenda pa akong kailangan gawin. Kailangan pa natin makapag-interview para matapos ko itong video ng ito. Kaya, let's go! We woke up really early the next day, 3am actually, 
kasi nahabol namin ang sunrise sa area ng Cagayan. But before that, replenish and breakfast muna kami sa store ni Ma'am Emily. Again, from the very bottom of our hearts, magyaman na kunay. Layo pa ako. Ano, Pops? Pagkita tayo ngayon sa pinakamahabang tunay sa Norte. Kagayan. Ngayon yung nagkakonekta sa Ligara. You know yarn. Pio nung beach na ay nang tulay na to. Dito rin eh. Oh. Oh. Hanapin nga natin yung partner. Okay, sige. Dito no? Eh, saan niya? Dito. At daybreak, we arrived sa Great Cagayan River. The Philippines' largest and widest river. And syempre, pag may river, may kaakibat na tulay. Featuring magapit suspension bridge. A majestic steel structure. Siyempre, di maaaring walang drone in Victoria sa area. Doon tayo Sa ilag magkamping Ilabas ang inumin At lahat ng iihawin Sa bailigo Sa malinaw na batis At sa pagsigil Okay. Ini saya beri nak aku. Saan? Magapit suspension bridge. Okay. Kita nak kita. Kita dah yang magapit suspension. Saan? Kita kau connecta ang west at east side nang kagayan. Nang river nato. Kalau kita jo, kita kalah. Search kita. Epic fail. And we push through further up north. Puso din pala dito ang tuktok design. But homemade nga lang. Looks like it has more capacity than our current vehicle. But syempre, di namin pagpapalit si Maxi. Oh, tigil mo na, tigil mo na, tigil mo na. You know. Ah, video ba? Video. And we reached the boundary of Apari. This is probably the most northern we could reach as of now. The arch reminds me of a cake. Sa paghahalat ng gutom na. But sure, picture mo na kami. Hanapin ang imposto. Tuk-tuk, wannabe. Alright, full tank na naman tayo sa ating reserva. Let's roll. Uy, ang lupit naman ang iyan. Let's go, Team Maxima! When we arrive at Dugegaraw, syempre, papalampasin ba namin ang famous Pansit Batil Patung of Cagayan? A quick Google search pointed us at Jed's Pansiteria. This is where we had our brunch. Battle of the SLRs. Ano ka ngayon? I had been to Tugegaraw way way back and tried Batil Patong. It is basically an overloaded noodle dish. I mean, literally overloaded. Folks with gout or bad cholesterol should steer clear from this dish. It is really a tasty and heavy dish to consume. 
But we made one mistake here. We ordered individually. And hindi namin kaya kusi. The service is top notch. Entertaining si cashier sa mga inquiries namin. Maybe kita niya yung camera. But we're not abusing yung being a vlogger, acting entitled, kumbaga. We're here to help and promote business, being fairly and giving honest reviews as well. Food blogger yon. Dapat kena resis subuh na. Tapos kita taas yung Shanghai. Kita taas yung Shanghai. Paano kita taas yung Shanghai? Ha? Kita taas mo. Nang isang daliri. Dito sa dito. Ya, 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 ya. Taas mo, taas mo, taas mo. Angat mo. Yo! Tapos kukunin yung chicharong bonak. Ang takina, ang daming gagawin sa isang ano. Kina mo nakabidyo ka. After the meal, we passed by the famous Bonton Bridge in Tugaygarao. Ang haba pala nito. Way longer than magapit. For almost two minutes, we crossed this river. May kwento pa pala ako dun sa ano? Tugaygarao. Last last week, last month lang nasa pinakamalamig kami lugar. Ngayon ang kanasa may dito sa pinakamalamig na lugar sa buong Pilipinas. Another thing is. Iba ang init dito compared sa Dagupa. Grabe. But syempre, mga hamit kami. Because somewhere in Santa Maria, we detoured a bit. Because Gino noticed something spectacular. Dito, dito. Saan ang bigat? Dito. Dito? Sobrang init pa rin pare ko Kaya magdagat naman tayo Basta't magdala ka ng sariling duyan mo Magpatulong-gulong sa buhangin na Sisirin ang ilalim ng karagatan At likas na yaman ng kalikasan It's a long way down south. Nothing much to see actually. It's hot and a lot of traffic. That's why when we reached Nueva Yubiskaya, Gino decided to take a detour and go for a dip. Woo! 
akala ko liligo lang kami but Gino suddenly has a change of heart dahil may nakita ata siyang natay sa ito hindi ko alam kung ano pumasok sa isip niya that we change route and go up but we are going higher and higher the road is getting from worse to worse parang walang katapusan making me all worried ano pa kami makakawin nito? Tumatak ko sa isip ko during this time Akala ko liligo lang kami Ligong ligo pa naman ako sa init ng biyanyahe namin But seeing that spectacular view changed my mind Maybe there's something else in store at the end It's very challenging sa aming mga vehicles dahil sa maliit na tires nila. The pavement wasn't designed also for our vehicles. Ang 4-wheel or tricycle okay lang. But sa 3-wheel na katulad ng amin, mahirap. Lahat ng pinagtatanungan namin said, Balik na kayo! Imposible yan! Matutumba sa sakyan nyo! But Gino and Creus has faith on their vehicles. Alam nilang kakayanin ang tuktok ito. Might as well have faith like they do. Ang naging konsuelo lang sa isip ko is when Creus said, Mas matindi yun sa Palawan kaysa dito. But still, our vehicle gave their all, pushed harder and harder for us to reach the top. Medyo napapao kay Maxim. She wasn't built for this. She was designed for the city hauling loads not climbing mountain, nor going off-road. But she never complained, never quit. So why should we? Tanaw na ang tagumpay eh. This wonderful view made us all speechless. Ito yung dahilan kung bakit hindi na sila uulit na kasama sa mga invitasyon natin. Talagang sinadya ako to. Hindi ko na sila umulit eh. Para madala na. This travel taught me a lot of things. We started as wandering travelers and ended up as changed individuals. Clueless before this journey started, but now as grateful beings. The travel may be arduous and tedious, nonetheless brought us to spectacular places. The bond we shared was priceless beyond words. As Toic would have said, we cannot control the world around us. In spite of that, we can control how we react to it. Like our tuk-tuk, we gave them a beating, yet it still brought us to our destination. I hope more adventures like this to come. Till next time, ciao!
saan ka tatakbo Kapag nawasak iisang mundo Karaniwang tao anong magagawa Upang bantayan ang kalikasan Okay, so right now nasa Tagaytay na ako nakabalik As you can see dun sa video na pinost ko yung odometer nung uh, bajaj na may sinakyan namin is Currently is at uh, 33892 So before we leave, um, buti nakuha na sa footage eh, Around 1179.4 But ang pinakamagandang news dito eh Ang ginasos lang namin sa fuel is around 5,000 pesos As you can see do sa previous video, ikita nyo. Yung tungkol do sa odometer, eh, makikita nyo parang akong busabos. Well, hindi pa kasi ako nakakaligo na. But right now, nakaligo na ako. So, <laughs> sa layan ng biniyahe namin, yung buong mukha ko pala kay maitim na maitim, hindi ko na namalayan. So, nung naliligo ako, eh, yung bimpo ko naging maitim. Eh. Pati yung sabon, sabi ko, ano ba itong lilinis ko? Nagkakarwash ba ako? Ganun, ganun, ang itim. So, yeah. I find it funny lang. Hindi naman, it's not a complaint. I just find it funny. So, I'm just sharing it with you guys. Imagine nyo kung gano'ng katipid itong maliit na bihira na ito. Kaya ano pang hinihintay nyo? Bili na! Picture. Ilan yung kantang nagro-rotate sa atin? Parang tatlo. Hahaha 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 Patras pa ba ako? Sige lang Mga sampung hakbang pa ano, patras? Sa drone shot na Patras! Ayaw maghanap ng signal? Oo Oo Ayaw pag signal Ayan, at least may drone shot Uy, sa ako pa naman, drone shot Technically, drone shot pa din eh Kaya umulam dito ng ilang araw Ay, ba't ano, maputik Ah, doon na umulan Dito yung bakal, ang ganda Yan, Jad Dito yung mga bulubundukin